In some cases, two is better than one. Just ask Kevin Hart. Being one of the richest men in comedy, he can afford to splurge on the places he calls home. Records show he recently dropped $7 million on a huge mansion right beside the even larger residence he already owns. Located in a low-key gated community just outside of Calabasas, Kevin's main mansion was custom built to his liking back in 2018 and sits on 26 acres, while his new next door purchase boasts a further 16 acres of land. Just wait till you see the mansions themselves. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year. So go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses. And even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Kevin Hart is a stand-up comedian and an actor and one of the wealthiest ones at that. Born and raised in Philly, he started his career by winning multiple amateur competitions, but these days, Kevin's made it to the big screen time and time again. At the time of this recording, he's amassed an impressive net worth of about $200 million, affording him his completely custom estate in Calabasas and then some. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment. This one, looking at where Kevin Hart calls home. We're trying to get to 500,000 subscribers on here, so if you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. As always, hit me up on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. Before we dive into Kevin's Calabasas spread, let's take a look at his former home. Located in the Mulholland Park area of Tarzana, California, the comedian snagged this home in 2012 for just under $2 million and lived there for seven years. The two-story mansion boasted over 6,500 square feet of living space along with seven bedrooms and seven baths throughout. The front foyer was grandly scaled with two winding staircases on either side and nearby there was a double height living room complete with a floor to ceiling fireplace. The main floor of Kevin's former mansion also contained the fully equipped kitchen, a spacious dining room with a large window and backyard views, plus a bonus room. Moving upstairs, most of the bedrooms are located here while Kevin's former master suite had its very own wing. The master had its own sleeping quarters, a fireplace, a sprawling attached bath, a walk-in closet and a private balcony. Out back, the grounds offer a gorgeous pool and spa with fountain and making the space ideal for entertaining, there's also a bar and grill. At the front of the estate, there are two garages opposite one another as well as a polished motor court. Unfortunately, there was a robbery here in 2016 while Kevin was away in Miami. The intruders made away with half a million dollars worth of jewelry, watches and clothes, seemingly getting past the two security gates. That incident no doubt affected Kevin's decision to sell. He let go of this Tarzana mansion for $2.75 million. Kevin's current residence is located in a little known gated community just on the outskirts of Calabasas, California. He's given peeks into his home on Instagram over the years, but he's never fully revealed all of the details. His main estate was custom built to his exact specifications and completed in 2018. But it was way back in 2015 that Kevin dropped $1.35 million on the plot of land where it was constructed. Spanning 26 acres of land, the property is sprawling to say the least. And according to building permits, the comedian began construction on his two-story mansion in April 2017. These days, his mansion is built in a Mediterranean meets contemporary style and spans 9,500 square feet of space. In addition to the main house, the luxury compound boasts two detached guest houses and multiple outdoor amenities from a playground to a swimming pool and much more. According to records, construction costs for the main house set Kevin back nearly $2 million and that doesn't include the pool, cabana, garage and landscaping. In total, it would have cost him about $5 million. Inside, we can see that Kevin has a stylish main living area with sleek double height fireplace and light hardwood floors. The home also seems to have an open plan layout as well as high ceilings. The Stars Garage spends over 900 square feet along with a 250 square foot second level pool house above it. While this structure cost Kevin around 170 k to create, he's a car lover, so the purchase was definitely worth it. The hearts must love the outdoors too, at least at the comfort of their own home. 
The add-ons on the grounds are endless. Just look at that 800 square foot swimming pool. There's also a 100 square foot built-in spa located right in the center, costing Kevin $60,000 in total. The yard also boasts a 650 square foot open cabana that costs yet another 100K, and based on social media posts, that structure is actually an indoor-outdoor gym where Kevin and his wife work out. Not to mention, there's a grassy lawn and a full volleyball court on the property. In June 2021, Kevin added onto his massive custom mansion with the purchase of the home right next door for $7 million. Also located in the same gated community, this estate spans 16.3 acres, creating himself a sprawling 42-acre compound in total. This new property is mostly hillside like Kevin's other one and boasts a 9,300 square foot mansion with six beds and six baths throughout. The home was built in 2004 and includes large formal living and dining rooms, both of which have high ceilings, large picture windows, and oak hardwood flooring underfoot. The living room has a fireplace as well. Nearby, the kitchen in the mansion has been recently upgraded. Here, there are stone countertops and high-end Viking appliances, including a massive industrial-sized fridge. Bonuses include a downstairs wine cellar and a separate breakfast room. The master suite in this crib is located downstairs according to listing materials and it attaches to a spa style bath with quartz, dual vanities, a soaking tub and a glass shower. Out back, you'll find a resort style yard with plenty of amenities. There's an infinity edge swimming pool with a waterfall and a grotto along with a built-in spa and terrace space surrounding it all to sunbathe and unwind. Elsewhere, there's a koi pond with its own waterfall, a full-size tennis court, plenty of grassy lawns, and stunning garden. If that's not enough, other lavish add-ons on the grounds include a covered patio with speakers and lounge area, a full barbecue station outdoor kitchen with pizza oven and fireplace, as well as a putting green. Not to mention, there are amazing views from the property of the surrounding hills. While it's unknown what Kevin has in store for this mansion, considering it's right next door to his current home, the possibilities are endless. He could even build his own mini village. All right, so now we've taken a look at Kevin Hart's properties, including his latest add-on in Calabasas. After seeing his former Tarzana house, a glimpse of his current custom mansion, and the newest acquisition, did you have a favorite? What's your favorite feature at the new crib? I definitely love the swimming area out back. There's everything from a pool to a waterfall and even a grotto. I would feel like I was on vacation every day if I lived there. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Kevin's mansions down in that comment section or what you think the comedian is going to do with these two massive properties. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram to chat and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye!